Now, is there anything else people can do to prevent hair loss? I think uh, people should be aware uh, of all environmental influences. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you are um, doing a very intensive sport uh, or if you are, especially women, are on the go a very uh, rigid uh, reduction diets or uh, too much uh, artificial food um, um, and then you can feel a lack of some trace elements mm -hmm. like zinc for instance and we also use zinc in our products not mm -hmm. only caffeine and so you uh, can um, modulate with your behavior if your hair is getting better or worse you should also avoid um, long-term stress Mm -hmm. I don't mean business stress, which <laughs> we all have. Yeah, that's but inevitable. But um, in, in a time where um, um, a, a person very close to oneself is dying or you're leaving uh, or losing mm -hmm. this person, then you have really a serious stress. And this mm -hmm. may also, especially among women, lead to hair loss. Now, I know a, a lot of people wonder this when new products come out. How long did you, did you test the product? for before it went to market? Usually we test a product um, uh, many years because um, uh, in the first step we make our basic research in clinics mm -hmm. in order to find out what about the working principle, the mechanism behind it. Then we make a sa safety test because um, anti-hair loss uh, treatment is a lifelong treatment. Yeah. You, we, we fight only against uh, uh, consequence mm -hmm. um, and uh, then comes uh, the period of uh, the field tests where we uh, check the acceptance, the compliance of the product and especially in a, in a product which has to be taken lifelong, the convenience is um, a prerequisite for a successful treatment. Mm -hmm. If it's uncomfortable to people, they take it, let's say, for two months and then they leave it and uh, the hair loss will continue. Now, how many people did you test the product on? Sorry? How many people did you test the product on? Um, it depends uh, between uh, 200 and 300 people uh, mm -hmm. where we uh, have different um, uh, test and study design. Mm -hmm. And uh, this gave us uh, a very good um, um, let's say view to the population how do they like the product and how does it work mm -hmm. now do you foresee any any other stimulants any other kinds of um, chemicals or components being able to prevent hair loss in the future it's a very difficult question mm -hmm. because um, the request on safety uh, mm -hmm. especially in, in drug development is very high mm -hmm. and uh, so um, I think beside caffeine and some drugs, uh, I don't see really any serious uh, solution at the moment. But um, might be, we are also looking for yeah. some additional um, uh, principles also in terms of uh, pigment loss because mm -hmm. uh, whitening of hair is also a serious issue of people and we all um, are getting into an elderly generation mm -hmm. and so I think these aging uh, problems will uh, rise in, in future. Well, caffeine, it, it, we've had caffeine for such a long time. Why has it taken such a long time for you to discover that it actually can prevent hair loss? It's Why haven't we looked at it before? It's sometimes it's, it's a matter of, of really uh, the inspiration and the, the right idea. And I think caffeine is well known and any big concern could have invented it, but they didn't. They didn't realize uh, this uh, uh, powerful profile of, of such a good compound. It penetrates very easily, it's very safe, it's mm -hmm. active, so I think it's an ideal compound. Dr. Klenk, thank you for joining me and sharing your research with us. It was my pleasure, thank you.